In the sea, you might think it's every fish for itself. That may be true, but it's not the whole story. Many creatures team up with members of another species to get what they want. In some cases, like the shrimp and the goby, they perform important services for one another. In this kind of relationship called mutualism, the shrimp digs out the apartment while the goby keeps a lookout for predators. This purple cleaner shrimp has attracted a diver who's getting a nice manicure while the shrimp, who feeds on dead skin, is getting a bite to eat. It's mutually beneficial. These shrimps are small and vulnerable and rely on anemones for protection. Since they're immune to the anemone's venom, they find refuge in its stinging tentacles. But this relationship is completely one-sided. The anemone protects the shrimp, but gets absolutely nothing in return. Scientists call this kind of relationship commensal. That means that somebody is getting something for nothing. The jack is a real freeloader. It's built to be a fast swimming predator, but often it would rather have someone else do the work. Jacks like to hang out with rays. As the rays dig up the sediments in search of shrimp and shellfish, they disturb fish. And the jacks are right there to score an easy meal. This queen triggerfish looks lonely, but she has a silver shadow. A jack is hiding on the other side. The jack is hoping a fish will swim past the harmless trigger and not notice her shadow. Another easy meal for the jack. Jacks learn these tricks early in life. Youngsters hide out inside jellyfish for protection. But by the time they're grown up, they don't seem to need much protection, not even from sharks. These jacks are rubbing themselves on the shark's scratchy skin. Nobody knows why they do it, but as long as the sharks don't mind, the jacks will get away with it. The trumpet fish is another big freeloader. It tags along with other fish like groupers. To a little fish, this might just look like a grouper with a funny hat. But the trumpet fish is always ready to zoom out and snare a snack. Remoras are good swimmers, but they're also the ocean's world champion hitchhikers. The remora's dorsal fin is modified into a grasping surface and that lets them hang on to larger creatures like this diver. Sometimes they catch a ride with much larger creatures like this whale shark, the biggest fish in the sea. By hitching, remoras end up using a lot less energy to get around. And there's another benefit to hanging out with top predators like these sharks. Sharks don't have very good table manners. When they rip apart their prey, there are a lot of scraps floating around. So kind of like the family dog lurking under the dinner table, remoras are sure to get lots of leftovers. In a commensal relationship, nobody loses but the host does have to be tolerant. After all, it's not getting anything out of it. Even when they sleep, creatures like the goatfish can count on their uninvited guests hanging out until they wake up. This turtle is certainly in no hurry, but the remora doesn't mind life in the slow lane as long as the ride is free.